this time on the landscaping series. Planning ahead with the snowstorm that popped through town, we have our plow trucks ready to go. And with our brand new Chevy work truck, we'll be loading up our giant enclosed trailer and we'll be decorating the brand new city park. Let's load up the trucks and let's head south. Top of the morning to you ladies. My name is Ewan Man Buck. Welcome back to the landscaping series on Tahiton County, Iowa. Now we have planned ahead of the snowstorm that has hit us. Dropped about eh, five inches of snow. The county's already been out and been plowing the roads. So the majority of the main roads are already clear. But I have to at least clear my main lot before I can get on to what today's project or the main job that we have contracted for us today is. Since it is a little cold, I am going to get the two trucks that we have using for plow trucks fired up and warmed up. And while those two trucks are warming up, since it is freezing out, it's about eh, it's eight degrees out right now. Wind chills making it feel like one to two degrees. But we did just invest in a brand new 3500 HD Silverado. This is a very basic model truck. We had an antenna put on there for a CB, our work lights, as well as a toolbox. Nothing fancy, but we're loading up the Christmas supplies right now that is going to be heading to the main park just downtown. And we have to decorate for the Christmas dec the Christmas setup that they wanted to have. But we have to let Daryl get the rest of that stuff put in the trailer since he's kind of in charge of organizing that mess. After some major technical difficulties, I, apparently that fisher plow on the front of this thing didn't like to push snow, we found a system that worked. So I need to do my best job to clear this thing, clear this place out without, how we say, making it more of a mess than it needs to be. How we are going to do that is beyond me because this is a lot of snow. I think the best probable way to do this is to maybe push everything to the exit. And then I just kind of push it across the road and work my way towards the back. Because if I have to push every last bit of this out, this could be a pain. I thought I had a snowblower that I could have used on maybe like the back of the little 5075. I don't know if I have one, and I don't think deer across the road would sell one. Unless they have one, I'm going to have to go look. I'd have to go look. But we might just have to run over there. Some of this stuff is having like collision problems, I know that. But let's push this stuff across the road and we're going to run over to Deer Quick and see if they have a snowblower that I could pretty much put on the back of that 5075 and that, that would work fantastic to get some of these big drifts out that really came in front of the shop where I can't really push them with the blade. Now I am lucky as I did find a snowblower, but the problem is that they don't have any big ones, so I'll have to run back and grab my little utility tractor so I'm not putting a tiny little snowblower on a big tractor and with that mess now debacled i'm gonna clear my way over to the uh, blade that i was using in the previous episode to make the pads and everything and we'll just kind of use that as my other blade on this tractor so we at least have something to do with this it'll it'll be nice to be able to reach into the back of the corners and just grab the snow rather than having to try and get it with the snowblower. I know that snowblower is going to be really effective, but I don't want to, because I can't see very well. It'll be mounted on the back. Just let me just reach over the bank here quick. There we go. And we'll slowly navigate our way out. Beautiful. There's a lot of snow to move, so it's going to take quite a bit of work to move it with this tiny little blower. I wish I could have gotten something bigger, but this is what I got to work with. A lot of you guys are still asking me on the process or the progress of the square body Chevy. I'm waiting on just a couple more testing results before I send out my last copy, and then that truck should be coming to UPC players. I hope to have it out before Christmas. I do not want to give out poor quality mods to you guys, so I want to make sure it's done right and that everything is given the level of respect that it deserves, and I hope you guys can understand that. 
But I tell you what, this snowblower is doing pretty good. I mean, it's this is a lot of snow. I mean, we're we're talking some really really thick five inch snow. That if this were to come down and rain, this would easily be about six seven inches worth. You don't see this kind of snow in this area year in year out. That is for certain. This is definitely like a once in a once in a blue moon kind of a storm. But fear not, as we have weathered this storm before and we can weather it again, it's just a matter of patience and determination. Let's look at that pretty snow. I mean, it's freezing out. I should be wearing like a ski mask, but I'm, I'm not the smartest when it comes to winter weather, at least for my dress code. I'll be the guy that's out there walking in cargo shorts and it's 22 degrees out. But I'll keep working on this. I'm not gonna clear out the whole lot. I just kind of need to clear out enough so we can move around the lot with not, without having too many problems. And after quite some time of some very not liking me physics, we have successfully cleaned out the brute majority of the front of the shop. I couldn't get all the way up to the street, otherwise the snow would have went into the street. So I kind of had to leave that. I will have to push that little mound that's on the main highway. This, this whole spot's kind of not closed off. We don't have a whole lot of traffic. I might just run over with the Silverado quick and push that out of the way. The snowblower has been working ever so well. It's just, it's, just, it's just a lot of snow for that little guy. I just kind of feel like everything's not really working today. There's not a whole lot of things going in my favor besides the trucks actually starting this morning in the cold weather. I did, however, just receive word from Daryl that the truck is completely packed up and ready to go with all of our Christmas decorations. So we don't have to worry about that. I'm actually gonna get that Silverado out of there with the trailer if it's able to pull through the snow that's kind of packed in there. That's the last portion that we need to go and clear out. But as we can see, to get back there, that Silverado is gonna have to push through a little bit of a mound of snow. Let's see what this old Silverado's got. All right, put her in four low and watch her go. Oh, dude, not even thinking about it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we might actually have her stuck. I should have gave it the beans. I would say don't tell the boss that, he, that I just did this, but I am the boss, so I can do whatever the, what I want, technically. There we go, just give her a little bit of a love tap. Just like that, not even owning the truck 24 hours, and we already got a scratch on the front bumper. Give her the beans. Oh, maybe this snow is a lot thicker than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be able to get this thing out. Okay, I guess we will have to dig this thing out. Let's go to this, uh, let's go to the skid steer one. This is, this plow has worked the best out of all of them so far. And the JCB, it makes quick work of this, of this really heavy stuff. I'm kind of, kind of happy with that. It's been the one thing that hasn't really let me down yet today. I am going to kind of push the snow into the trucks, maybe. It might help me a little bit. Let's just see what the old JCB can do for the Silverado to at least get... Out of harm's way. 12 seconds later. And that is what I like to call farm sim physics at its best, people. Oh, there she goes. Come on, Silverado. I know you can do it. Give her the beans. Okay, we got that mess out of there. Hopefully all of our Christmas supplies are okay. Not the most peaceful of exitings, if I've ever uh, say so myself. But now we should be able to just push all the snow that was originally there back. And I'm just going to use this Silverado because that that blade's too wide on the skid steer to be able to go back into this. And slightly, if the snow will work with me, just like that, that should resolve all of our snow troubles. The trucks, I'm not too worried about them sitting in the mounds. They'll be able to climb out of that pretty easily. But I think now what I need to do is get the Silverado taken over to the park so we can start assembling the Christmas decorations and displays for the shows that they're going to be having, or at least the attractions. I might take this truck with me in case we run into a couple snow piles that we need to clear out. To make a long story short, we're going to get everything put away so we don't have to worry about it later.
And I am quite sure that some of you, being console players, have been eagerly awaiting Agritono's version of this Silverado. This is the PC only one with the actual Chevrolet badges, but there is a Lizard version of the truck you guys can get on the downloadable in game mod hub. We are all going to have to try and get around the tractor up front since he's kind of slow. Poor Kevin, he's, he's plugging away as fast as he can go. Corey's following me in the plow truck. But I do want to take it slow because bridges and roads still especially can be pretty icy. I'm going to try and go around Kevin here before we get up going up the hill. Always be sure to drive safe in winter weather, people. When the first snow hits, it's always kind of scary because if, you, if you're not used to this kind of weather, it really can get kind of treacherous driving down these roads. And for all those people that actually haul trailers for a living in this kind of weather, I tip my hat to you. That is one thing I do not ever want to have to fear. But we'll safely make our way at a comfortable 50 miles an hour to the city park. And we'll start unloading all of our supplies to get this park looking nice and seasonally spiffy. And rolling into town now. Ooh, this road's not that clean, or at least it's not very well in that corner right there. Might use the little Chevy to clear that up. But the fire station's always really nice to us in that they let us store our stuff over here in their back lot when we work on this place. So I'm gonna unfold all my doors, start getting my supplies out. The tractor should be here any minute, because I know I thought I heard something with Kevin. There he is. Yep. Okay, so let's get all of our supplies out of the trailer. We'll see you guys up in the drone, and we'll start working on getting this little place nice and Christmasified, as I'd like to say. And that should be the majority of the simple lights that are going on. Now, I this park was not designed to have these, these tractors going in here, but I do want to try and sneak my way in. Also, please excuse the giant music box that comes along with this massive tree as we need to get the lights strung up on it. There's a big, it's a big sound box. It's kind of, kind of stinks, but we're going to get the boys up in the bucket as we need to get the lights up on this tree or at least string the remainder of them and put the star up on top. Yeah, now once we're far enough away, the tree doesn't work, but we got Rudolph and all the rest of the reindeer. You know, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of them all? He's leading the pack and all these ones will light up green. The sleigh is red and Rudolph is also red. We have our Merry Christmas tree that was very nicely assembled. This was actually one of the easiest things that we had to put up. But uh, at nighttime, this whole thing is like a bright neon. It's really cool, actually. And then we strung up a majority of our Christmas lights on the poles. We did do a parameter around the entire park itself with those. And then I had a couple left over, so we just decided to, like, very delicately put in a little post right here to kind of surround the park, but not the entirety of it. And to finish it off in the center, without the music box playing on the other tree over there, we do have a white uh, string style of tree. These are actually one of my favorite kind of designs. If I had the room to do it, I would definitely invest in one of these. These are really, really cool. But I'm going to take my definitely could have brought the shorter one ladder over to the picnic area and start working on all of my extension cords that go to the reindeer. So at night, when we have our light show come on, all of these little guys are gonna be nice and lit up and spiffy. You ready, Rudolph? You gotta be ready for the Christmas season. You gotta, you gotta be ready. You gotta be on, on point. And Daryl and Corey are gonna be working on the lights for the Christmas tree on the far side. We'll catch back with you guys once everything has been wired up. And all I should have left to do is plug in this star. We gotta find a way to control the volume on that music box over there. Can somebody unplug that thing, please? It's starting to get annoying.
And that should technically be all that we need to do for this park. As for the rest of the guys, we're going to let them get the tractor out. I'm not going to figure out. I, I weaseled that thing in there. I'm not going to find the way to weasel it out. That's going to be up to them. I'll let them clean up this, and I'll be in the Silverado. Let's go push a little bit of snow. Now, I will say, ever since putting the Western Plow in the front of the GMC, I have noticed a tremendous difference in how well this truck pushes snow. It is just kind of a shame, however, this map doesn't really let you push the snow on the roads. That's not the worst thing, and if that really is the worst of our problems, I think we're doing all right. Also helps to every now and then be a good Samaritan and help somebody out with their driveway. You know, at least getting out. I hate that when the plow trucks still... Is it just me, or is it every time you see a plow truck go by, it's like you do all the work snow blowing and cleaning out your driveway, and then all of a sudden, they come right by and just slap an entire barrier that's right in front of your driveway. So you now have to go and scoop that to get out of your place. I don't know. That might just be me. With winter now fully underway, I will say I am getting kind of excited for the holiday season. I don't, I'm not a big fan of snow. It's, I mean, every now and then an occasional snowstorm is kind of fun. I'm going to clean that up because once again, I'm not going to bury someone in their own, in their own yard. But like anyone, I just don't necessarily like this thing called cold. But guys, please feel free to leave a comment in the description down below as to what you guys enjoy about the Christmas season, what you're looking to maybe get this year, or just what, what brings you the most joy during this time. I know I'm ready to basically get the new year started and start making for a lot of new and exciting goals. Be ready to meet a whole lot of new people and see a lot of new things. And maybe, just maybe, we might be able to start working towards that silver plaque come this year. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for checking this one out. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. If you guys want to see a bit more snow plowing, because now we are in the snow plowing season, I will definitely be willing to do some of that for you guys. Probably going to have to find another map, though, that allows me to plow the city streets. Because Tahitian, I love it, but not very helpful in that department. But make sure you guys check out the Boomstick Club and all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it. I'm going to get back to the shop, get ready for the next snowstorm in our next project. We'll see you guys all in the next one. This is the Rental Man Out. Peace.